Hello YouTube, this is Alex, also known as the Geek Dad. Today I'm going to show you how to download your free copy of Windows 10. Who gets Windows 10 for free? Well, if you're running Windows Home or Professional with Service Pack 1, or Windows 8 Home or Professional with Windows 8.1 update, it will not work for those running Windows 7 Enterprise, Windows 8 Enterprise, Windows RT, Windows Vista, Windows XP, or anyone running a pirated copy of Windows. The first step, you will need to go to this website. Okay, scroll down and choose the appropriate version. If you're running Windows 8.1 like I am, but have no idea if you're running 32-bit or 64-bit, and have no idea if you're running Home or Pro, you can check by going to the Start menu and clicking on System. Here, you can see that I'm running Windows 8.1 Pro 64-bit. Okay, I'm going to download the 64-bit version. I'm going to save and then open the XE. This part might take a minute. Um, just be patient. You'll eventually see the program running on the bottom of the taskbar. Go ahead and click on that. You'll have two options. You can either upgrade right away or create an installation disk to install Windows 10 as a fresh copy. I chose to create an installation disk. Here you have three menus, Language, Edition, and Architecture. I picked English, US, Pro, and 64-bit. As I explained earlier, you can go to the Start menu and check System if you need to check which version you need to install. Click Next. Here you have an option to create a bootable Windows 10 install on a flash drive or a DVD disk. Since I still have a ton of blank DVDs, I prefer the ISO image. Select the path where you'll want to save the ISO. I sped up the download process, considering how many people are probably downloading the install on the first day it was released, I thought it went fairly quickly on my BrightHouse 75 meg connection. I'm glad to see Microsoft was able to keep their servers up the entire time. Awesome, the ISO finished downloading. Let's go ahead and open the ISO to make sure that it downloaded okay. It took a few moments to display the Windows 10 installation ISO. From what I could tell, it appears to have downloaded properly. So, I'm going to burn the ISO onto a disk now. This may take a few minutes to burn and verify the 3.10 gig ISO. I sped up the burning process. After it finishes burning, I recommend viewing the DVD disc to make sure that it is readable for you. Great! It appears that it burned properly for me, so now I'm ready to install Windows 10. I hope you enjoy the video. Please leave any comments or questions below. On my next video, I will show you the installation process for Windows 10 Pro 64-bit Edition.